two examples of the Vickers Viscount were on display. First, the experimental Tay Viscount, powered by two Rolls-Royce Tay turbojets. Then there was the Viscount 700. This 50-seater medium-range airliner with a cruising speed of 312 miles an hour is powered by four turbo-propeller engines. She's here seen flying with three of them feathered. Originally intended for service on the European route in 1952, owing to heavy holiday traffic during the summer of 1950, the prototype was brought into service on the Paris run nearly two years ahead of schedule. It was half an hour's journey from London that, at the Weybridge works of Vickers Armstrong's, the world's first propeller turbine airliner was devised and was built in 1950. This was something entirely new, but when, in 1953, the now famous Viscount came into airline use in Europe, it soon attracted worldwide attention and worldwide demand. TCA was the first North American airline to order the new aircraft. Production to TCA requirements was begun, and since 1955, more and more Viscounts have been delivered to meet TCA's demands. Vickers ferry crew take over the machine at the factory. The captain is responsible for getting the brand new Viscount to Montreal. And the Viscount is a medium haul aeroplane and not designed to make a non-stop Atlantic crossing against headwinds. Its route, therefore, is broken up first to Prestwick and then to Keflavik, the USAF base in Iceland. From Keflavik into the Arctic Circle and to the lonely American base of Bluey West 1 on the west coast of Greenland. This, as we will see later, is the bottleneck sector of the route. Then on to Goose Bay and finally to its new home base, Montreal. brand new turboprop aircraft leaves for the new world. First stop, Prestwick. At Prestwick, an hour's halt while customs are cleared and much paperwork done. Prestwick has now handled over a hundred Atlantic-bound Viscounts for one airline or another, and they know the drill. Anything to declare? Yes. One aircraft, next destination, Keflavik in Iceland. Iceland, a lovely island with a great history of seafaring and the home of the saga. have little time to spend sightseeing and at dawn they must be on their way. The next leg is the tricky one to Bluey West 1, 40 miles up a steep and narrow fjord where the sea fog can roll down the visibility in a matter of minutes.